Hi, I'm Olin. I want to thank you for joining us for this final session on supplements. If you'll notice, we're in the Hallow Acres Cafe today where we have an abundance of good, healthy, nutritious food. But I want to welcome you to our session now on vitamin B12 and iodine. You know, for years, uh, while we were on the Hallelujah diet and, and teaching it, we had heard that you could go 10 years with no intake of B12 and not develop a deficiency. It really wasn't until we had our own researcher on staff that we were able to really conduct a study and get to the bottom of it. There is no B12 in a plant-based diet. Uh, and we had to back up and think, you know, we're teaching a diet and lifestyle that's based on Genesis 1:29, uh, God's ideal diet. And why are we deficient if we're eating according to those principles? Many people are developing a deficiency. We had to resolve the issue of what's the best way to resolve that. Well, you know, if we're going to need a B12 supplement, why not take it in the active form? And we thought, well, if we're going to produce a B12, let's make it a little more comprehensive. So we actually added some B6 and folic acid. B12 supplements are very inexpensive. You can use a half of our B12 supplement two or three times a week and normally prevent a B12 deficiency. Next supplement we want to talk about briefly is iodine. We learned early on that B12 was deficient in the Hallelujah diet or a plant-based diet. We've also learned from research that our diet overall is deficient in iodine. To overcome that deficiency, they added iodine to table salt, uh, realizing that most everybody used table salt and that would be a good means of getting iodine into their diet. Fortunately, when people get on the Hallelujah diet, they eliminate table salt. So they're eliminating one of their few sources of iodine. So it's important to realize that that's an area we may need to supplement. Iodine supplementation is somewhat unfamiliar to most, most folks, and even most medical doctors don't recognize the need of it, and they generally steer folks away from using iodine supplementation. For most people, getting 2 to 3 milligrams of iodine on a daily basis would be beneficial. The supplements we offer at Halle Acres has iodine and also iodide. And it is important that we take both forms because some tissues use one form more efficiently than the other. Using uh, 2 to 3 milligrams daily is very safe and that provides a, a good level of iodine supplementation for folks, most folks with no concern for getting too much. I hope we've helped answer some of your questions about B12 and iodine. I want to encourage you, if you're not on the Hallelujah Diet, to get on the Hallelujah Diet and give it at least 60 day try. If you're on the Hallelujah Diet, be sure you're covering the areas of supplements that we've talked about so that you meet these important nutritional needs of the body. Thank you again for joining us, and I wish you well as you take charge of your own health.